Good morning, guys. I hope we are all sparkly and staying safe and adhering to the government recommendations. Social distancing, social isolation, exercising once a day, only going out for your essentials, and I mean essentials. It's very easy to become undisciplined in a time of crisis. Let's not make a drama out of a crisis. When somebody has a cardiac arrest, it's very easy to panic. But the last thing you should do when somebody has a cardiac arrest is panic. Which is why you go back to the fundamentals. Airway, breathing, circulation. So we've li we live in a very confusing time. Too many distractions. Superficiality. Materialism. It all deflects from what is really important. What is really important? Now your health is incredibly important. And there are way too many people out there who have neglected their health and are continuing to neglect their health. Not realizing that you must address the foundations of health every single day. Lifestyle, nutrition, exercise. This isn't something that you can dip in and out of. We're quite a peculiar species. So we've lost our survival need. This pandemic is going to take things back to nature. Hopefully, it's going to make most of us reassess not only what is important to us, but also what we can do to affect a positive change to the collective, not just the individual. There have been some quite alarming stories. Obviously the panic buying garbage um, and people placing things on eBay for 10 times the price. Now, you can either take challenges as threats or opportunities but there's something very peculiar and perverse about making financial gain at the expense of somebody else in this crisis it's disgusting so do not be one of those people help your fellow man So discipline, we lack discipline as a species, which is quite shocking. And it's probably because obviously we don't have any survival need. So we've been given this ability to choose. And we've always chosen the path of least resistance. So we've kind of listened to our survival drives but unfortunately, we've gone down the wrong road and we don't actually appreciate what's important and what we need to do and the mechanisms that we need to adhere to to achieve our goals. So I find it quite alarming, but I also understand how our society has got into such a horrendous state so this is a time to take stock this is a time to reflect this is a time to concentrate on what's really important so your health is obviously one of those things address the fundamentals lifestyle now there's no there's an incredible amount of stress out there right now now all you can do 
is affect a change to your immediate environment. So whatever's going on out there that you cannot affect a change to, there's no need or no rationale in worrying about it. So it's important to have a semblance of normality and a sense of perspective that is often lost when we listen to the media and our little brains ruminate, think of worst case scenario and it spirals down the rabbit hole. And that is something that we need to avoid. We need a sense of perspective. Sleep, incredibly important from an anabolic perspective is to recover from the day and prepare for the next day. So do try and get a good night's sleep. My friend's an A&E consultant and he is incredibly stressed right now. So what I don't want him to do is to reach for the bottle because alcohol is a depressant uh, it does not get rid of your problems having this sense of perspective is of primary importance right now so i recommended him the headspace app which is that mindful meditation app um, i use it i think it's brilliant it just centers you and it makes you realize what's really important and that's the now you cannot affect a change a positive change to the future if you do not concentrate on the now diet don't let your diet slip eat proper food the aisles in Tesco's are restocked. What went first? Toilet roll. <laughs> uh, then tuna. Then pasta. Eat real food, guys. As much as you can. Get those vitamins, get those nutrients in your body. To allow you to fight off any potential threats. Exercise. Exercise is incredibly important. And what's happened? The gyms are shut. Those, those cesspools <laughs> are, fi are finally shut. But again, you have to remember that cortisol is a catabolic hormone that you are using when you're exercising. It's immunoprotective. Too much is bad, too little is bad. So we always go back to this idea of balance. And when it comes to hormones, we need a nice balance of testosterone to estrogen to dihydrotestosterone. Those are the primary anabolic hormones. So conversely, you've got your catabolic hormones your catecholamines, etc. There needs to be balance in order for your body to function properly. This process of homeostasis is incredibly complex, and we have an arrogance and an ignorance. If this last 100 years has proved anything, is that we're plonkers and we do not understand or appreciate the importance of balance for harmony nature's always funny isn't it i was watching the um serengeti and as you guys know i'm a massive fan of mother nature and there was a very poignant scene the old male elephant went to its resting ground and died and the first to uh, come and eat the elephant were the lions. Now, normally, lions and hyenas are fierce adversaries. But 
in a time of plenty, the lions let the hyenas feast on this elephant as well. Then came the buzzards. So the hyenas also let their subordinates, who they would normally fiercely fight off, allow to eat. So it comes back to this idea of greed. Humans are unfortunately inherently greedy for some reason. I don't know why, but I think this crisis is a perfect opportunity for people to rethink their priorities to re-establish an order that has been lost in this materialistic, narcissistic world that we live in. So I would ask you to look after your own health and I would ask you to think about what you can do as an individual to help those around you your immediate community? Do you have an elderly neighbour that you could support safely though? So the men's health clinic is staying open uh, during this pandemic. We are taking the government recommendations in protecting not only ourselves but our patients. We have FFP2 masks. I'm not going to lie. My first thought when I saw them was it took me back to my rave days. <laughs> Bit of Vicks Vapo, Vapo Rub. Whoop, 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 whoop. Um, <laughs> Lydia just goes. <laughs> So, despite all the horridness and chaos, confusion out there, let's not lose a sense of perspective and remember what's important.